Well, the first month of 2023 is dwindling down and making way for February, the month of love, of course. Love, as a lot of us have figured out, is a very complicated thing, but we also know that we need love and it could be very well the best thing in life. I really believe this. So I'm so happy to welcome Brad Swanson, the love coach, to share some tips for finding Mr. or Mrs. Right. Good morning, coach. Thanks Good morning. for being here. Thanks for having me. Of course. Okay, so I love love. I love talking yeah. about love. Me too. Me too. I'm so excited to have you here. Let's get to it. Love can be, of course, so great, but it can also be really complicated. So what made you want to be a love and communications coach? Yeah, you know, it wasn't like I set out in my life that that was what I knew I was going to do. Yeah. You know, I as I was, I, I was blessed to come from a really good family and all of that, so I, I got to see what that's like. But as I was, you know, getting into college and stuff, I realized I was, you know, I went and took this like seminar that kind of like blew me open, okay. right? And it was on the recommendation of this woman I was dating at the time. And it just like completely shifted my life because I, I realized at that time that I was, I had a lot of insecurities, a lot of self doubt. Um, I was pretending a lot and I just didn't know who I was at the time, you know? So it was like, that was like shocking to me, you know, I was like 21 and I was like, oh my God, like, I don't know who I am. Like, what is happening? You know? Um, but I was super inspired by it and I was so turned on by, I was like, I want to learn how to communicate. Yeah. You know, I want to, I want to learn how to love myself and self love and communication leads to romantic love. You know, it's like, in a, it, you can't really get there unless you have that. Everybody has traumas and all these different things, you know, and it's, it's just such a journey. And so, you know, it's, I've been, I've been so blessed. I've been so, it's been so epic. Like recently, um, you know, I've been working, I work with like celebrities and professional athletes and stuff, you know, and one of my buddies played for the Broncos and he's like, he's married, but he's like, you know, he and I are talking about it and he's like, Brad, you got to go to this thing. I have these other guys here, you know, and, and I'm saying this because I want men to know I'm going to name drop because I want men to know it's not just like, it's like, all the men, right? Yeah. So here I am, I go to this event and I'm sitting there and I end up talking to Rashad Evans, who's this yeah. like former UFC champion, okay? Uh -huh. This guy is like, he's, I mean, one of the top toughest guys in the world. And he and I sat and talked for like two hours about love and communication. Wow. And he was just like, Brad, I love what you're doing. Yeah. He said, I wish I had these tools and skills back in life earlier. I probably wouldn't have gotten divorced. Yeah. And it was just like, you know, and so I'm like, I'm telling guys, I'm like, you guys, the top guys in the world who've been like the most badass guys are saying the same thing. We're all going, hey, we want to have healthy relationships. We want to communicate effectively. This whole, the whole paradigm has shifted where men are waking up too and we're going, hey, you know, it's not that stuff that we right. want anymore. We want to be in healthy relationships. Yeah. It really matters to us. We want to be good dads, yeah. you know, so, and it's, it's important. Amazing. Yeah. I mean, well, this is so eye-opening. I yeah. hope for a lot of the people watching at home. Sure. Obviously, you've had a lot of years of experience of this. This is so great. So in yeah. all of your years, what is the one thing you think people are not getting right when it comes to love? Well, the first thing, it's going to sound funny, but I would say that, first of all, they need to stop lying to themselves. Okay. Okay? Yeah. Like, the biggest thing is you have to stop lying to yourself. Yeah, truth. Second thought. thing <laughs> is you need to slow down. Yeah. Okay. Like, really slow down. I mean, I take this advice. Like, I've been taking it myself. It's like... You know, if you, everybody's so fast to be so emotional, right? Yeah. So they're, they're like, they're in, they're into the shiny thing, right. right? The shiny, pretty thing or like, oh my God, this rush of emotions. I'm in love. Blah, blah. No, that's all your emotions. That's all the adrenaline and stuff and the excitement, which is great. Yeah. But like true partnership is about connection and it's about communication and having this safety and all of those things, right? It's not a joke. That right. takes time, like real time. Yeah. And that's not just going to happen overnight. You know, it's not, everybody puts their best face on it first. And so it takes a lot of time for you to go to really sit back, no matter how excited you are and go breathe like yeah. let me just breathe like I'm so excited this person's awesome right but right let me just breathe right and and not talk yourself into stories right and things that like are illusions right that aren't real like lit real like it takes time to get calm and then really listen and not lie to yourself and like take time yes. and get to know someone yeah. right because then you're building a, on a foundation a solid foundation and everybody's just so fast to throw the baby out with the bathwater. Right. You have one issue and they're like, peace, I'm out. Yeah, I'm done. You know, and you're like, wait, what? I thought, I thought we were going towards something totally. substantial, you know? So totally. I would say stop lying to yourself okay. and 
slow down. Okay, I love that. Okay, yeah. well, I have to say, we did ask a few people around here uh, to kind of ask away what they thought. They all had questions for you. Um, one of our producers just asked, what are some immediate red flags that we should look for, especially when it comes to online dating? That is yeah. something that's become so popular. Yeah. What about that? You know, I mean, look, online dating is, it's, it's a whole jungle, right? It's a whole yeah. jungle. I mean, red flags are, th th again, if you're, if you're doing the inner work yourself, the, all of my coaching always comes back to accountability. Okay. Right. First and foremost, it's always about accountability. It's not about ever pointing the finger at anyone else. Yeah. So you always have to look at yourself and go, why is this showing up in my life? Right. Right. Like okay. if it's showing up, it's maybe still something you're dealing with. Right. Yeah. So when it comes to dating and online dating, you know, if, as long as you're being truthful, hmm. you're being yourself, you're putting your best self out there, you're not pretending to be something, yeah. you're not lying. Okay you have a good chance of drawing someone else in on the same frequency, same vibration, who's gonna match that, right? Like if that. you're drawing in people who are lying, the pictures aren't them, this, that, like, obviously those are all red flags. Right. You know, and listen to your intuition. You know, your intuition, like if you're tapped into yourself, if you're, again, loving yourself, right? Yeah. So all these, they're all cliches, but they're not cliches. It's all like real stuff, right? Yeah. So it's like, yeah. when you're tapped into yourself, you'll feel it, you'll be like, oh, that, that this person's not being that. Right, that's right. And it's obvious, you know, so your intuition, so you have to pay attention, and that, that's what it is. It's like red flags, it's, it's you paying attention. You check in with yourself, am I being truthful? Yeah. Am I being my best self? Because if I am, then there's a good chance you're going to feel that and see it as I you love go. that. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Well, you know what, Brad? I could talk to you all day. I have a million <laughs> more questions yeah, for you. Yeah. But hey, thank you so, so much. I think this is really, really helpful, especially as we're coming into Valentine's Day. Thank yes, you. Yes, absolutely. All right, you guys, we could really go on all day. We could all use a Brad in our lives, right? Brad Swanson is a love and communication coach, and if you would like to learn more about him, you can check him out, breakingthroughwithbrad.com. He has so much info. Thanks, Brad.